What's going on guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. Oh shit. Whoops. Hey, yeah, alright. My name is Mike and my character Mike got accepted into a Slytherin. I shouldn't say accepted, he got chosen into it. I suppose some introductions are in order. Alright, I'm gonna introduce myself to this guy right here. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was terrifying, yeah. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Ooh, what do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. Kindred spirit. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Wow. Hmm. Seems like he knows a lot Professor about this whole thing. Enigma. I think she used to work for the ministry. Wonder how she ended up here. Professor Harris is going to quiz us on the rare water beast next week. Can't wait to tell her I actually saw a Kelpie in Ireland over the summer. Not sure we should study for the astronomy exam in the library. Might be better off outdoors where we can see the stars. Okay. If I transfigure my poor toad. Into a goblet for one more time. I think he's going to insist he stay that way. Madam Scrivener doesn't tolerate any nonsense, so I find the library's the best place for concentration. As long as she doesn't hear you breathe. I'm still struggling with antidotes. It's startling to me that so many of them use mandrakes. I'll be sure never to go into that. What does it matter whether we even do our own work? I just want to be a baker on Carnaby Street. I don't think that even requires magic. That reminds me, did Scribner say we could borrow the book overnight? Or that we'd get detention if we had it out overnight? Oh. Hey guys, let me study with you guys. I refuse to handle Chinese chomping cabbages with bare hands. I've never had difficulties oh. with bouncing bulbs. Simple oh. fact jinx on hands all you need. I took my copy of 1,000 Magical Herbs and Fungi to Herbology, and I left it in the huh. greenhouse by the mandrake. I guess they don't want to mingle with me. Charles was horrified I didn't have it for his class. Oh, man. Oh, I just if wanted to see that, if they have some lose. information for me. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ooh. Checkmate. Told you. Damn. I want to play chess like that. You should have listened to me. He sees knock themselves oh, out like that. I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. I wish you had been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Oh, one hand, one hand with me, girl. Teach me how to fly. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. 
Nice meeting you. Huh. I really need to learn how to fly. Oh, <laughs> just playing around with the earth thing. Yeah, this slithering, slithering house really is nice, that's for sure. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah. Based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Memorable? Uh, I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Is he blind? Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. These guys are all Is really nice. Is the new nice. fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, okay. On my way then. Bulbs get big, they can be quite strong. Hell, that's pretty fast. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Wow. Whoa. What is going on here? What? What just happened? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh, hey. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. I'm trying. Come on. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, what the? What is going on here? Your guide pages.
Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities. Oh, hey. I have a bunch of things now. <clears throat> Inside and outside of the castle. And who is that girl that's leading us right now? Or is she just random person? Oh, what the? Oh, she must be just some random student, actually. Revelio. Ooh, Revelio. Hey. Treasure box. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. <laughs> he looks like a thief right now. Trying to steal and just got caught. Ooh, this must be the fast traveling. Okay. Fast travel. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Oh, hey. I can never get a rebellion. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay. <clears throat> Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Hogsmeade? What the heck is that? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Okay. I think that's all I need to know. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside <coughs> of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Ooh, do I trust her or do I not trust her? Oh, she looks pretty trustworthy, I'm gonna say. I'll, I'll go we with it. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Oh. Thank you. Professor Fig, back at it. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. 
Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? <laughs> oh, damn. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. Ooh. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Huh? Wow. Oh, I have two quests now. What the? Defense against the Dark Arts class. Charms class. Ooh, which class do I go? Charms or Defense against Dark Arts? Oh, they both sound really good. I'm going to have to go to the Dark Arts defense. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Oh. Welcome to Hogwarts. Okay. Oh, hey. It tells me where to go. Wow, this is so magical. Magic is telling me where to go. Oh, stupid fire. Stupid fire. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Let me also. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Oh, Professor. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm. Levioso! Oh. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Damn. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay, Levioso. I like it. Maybe also. 
Leviosa. Whoa. Don't pull them like that. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, hey. Or, what is this now? Magic. Damn, she's such a great wizard, I feel like. Professor. Let us begin with a basic cast. Alright, what am I doing? See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprise good. Now, the basic cast. Oh. Well done. What? Levioso. Okay. to practice is by dueling oh i'm done we'll start with you two oh. duelists take your marks oh my Sorry goodness. For a proper Hogwarts welcome. now <laughs> i want a fair duel using only levioso basic cast and protego you may okay. begin protego this should be easy now perceptive thank you your first duel. Oh, I what are you doing up there? Okay. Oh wow. Rather good at this, aren't I do enjoy a Oh, he fell down. Is that it? Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smile. That's what happens when you win. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Hell Thank yeah. you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, mm. well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Uh oh All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Nice work. Oh, this is like... Oh, this isn't he one of my friends, actually? I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, hell no. Nah. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Oh, huh. fair enough. You are an talk. honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh, that was nice. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Yeah. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. Till next time. Oh man. Revelio. Revelio. Lewis. Protego. Oh, that's what Protego is. Alright, alright. 
Now I gotta go to trans class. Uh, let's see if I can fast travel there somewhere. Um, map. Oh, there's nowhere I can travel to right now. Dual club. Actually, I want to go to the dual club first. Yeah, let me go dual club. Protego. Gotta show my... Gotta show my... Uh... Yeah. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... Oops. Map. Alright now. Alright. Wait, what happened to the... What? Maybe Charms class is closer. How come the magic isn't telling me where to go anymore? Magic. Tell me where to go. Tego. There we go. Magical wand telling me where to go. I need the visual guide. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind them to finish the lesson. Alright, dueling after this then. It's fine. Hufflepuff student. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, Thank you. Gryffindor student. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. <clears throat> have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh, caca cheating. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you? Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, what's going on here? Accio. 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 Or Accio. Accio. Okay. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh. Very good, everyone. Is she like That's a elite student or something? Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Oh, we going? Ah, 
Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 Oh shit, here we go. Accio? Accio? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your ch That's it! Okay. Now, uh, very good. Oh. Splendid! It's too easy. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Ooh, Come on up. What kind of challenge are we doing now? Are we dueling? You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Don't do it to me like that, that side. Easy, filthy. That's it. What's this? Can I like distract her right now? Like, mm, distraction, baby. Damn, girl. Making it really hard. Anything you can do, I can do. Mm. Oh no! Oh, I knocked her both. Oh, nice. All right, I can do that. Apparently, apparently that's not cheating. That is how it's done. Okay, I see you. I see you. Oh wait! Nicely done. Okay, I think we tied. Oh, you know what I should have done is I should have knocked out the first ball, actually. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, tiebreaker? <laughs> oh. I think we are well past interesting at this point. Okay. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Yeah, this is a really Let fun battle. It. Oh, settle for a thirty. I see. There we go. We just like knock you out of there real quick. Hmm. Nice. That's what's up, Here baby. <laughs> That's all I do now. Let me knock this out for you too now. Alright, just knock them both out, baby. And then go for the final one. Oh no, I didn't do it Excellent. properly actually. Okay, okay. That is how it's done. Alright, let me just go for that 50 right here and then go for that win right here. You know, just break that tie for you. Oof, tiebreaker. Easy control. Quite impressive. Yeah, that's all I do. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Very good, both of you. Well done. But I'm the winner, baby. I'm about to go win some duel two now. The duel challenge. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out.
good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Oh, my mother received transfer. an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. She's from Uganda? <laughs> Uganda has their own magic school? That's crazy. How big is Uganda? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu. <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, what? bigger than Hogwarts. Apparently, but it never oh, seemed intimidating wow. or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Hey, um. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Damn, I gotta go to Wagadu sometime. I remember sometime. the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Oh man. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, wow. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Oh, I must admit, however, so that's how that I am growing quite that fond of using, was a using wand. magic without a wand. It seems very dramatic. I see. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Oh, but I gotta learn more about Wagadu. Of you can, a word, if you would. Humans, if you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. Now I can go check out that dueling class finally. Or not dueling class, um, dueling. Oh yeah, let's go, baby. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yep, I need to go to the dueling class. Dueling class. Wait. Not dueling class, dueling club. Come on, baby. Navigate me to dueling club, not to the... Oh, it is navigating me to the dueling club. Okay, okay. Alright. I should have been following the magical wand. Should be following the magical wand. Let's go. Oh my god. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Oh, wait, what? what? Oh. oh, what the? Ah. Oh, not again. 
again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice the hell? As long as we're only what one is time that? a week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp. Sought to trap me, confine me inside of a what jar. What is he doing? But he failed, as did his containment charms. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and what? harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed. Or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not so him, mean. that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swing. Wow, what a boy! I'll get you for this. What? What was that? That was crazy. I adore getting. Oh my god! What the fuck? Good. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. What a bully. Can I help you? Wait, this guy's there? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Huh? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? All right, Get me go. in the ring. Let's go. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Who am I dueling again? Sebastian? We'll make you regret signing up. Whew. Oh, I'm dueling with Sebastian. Okay. All right. Oh, this guy. Hey, you guys are so mean. <laughs> like that. Oh, that was an uh, absolute domination right there. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Oh, Tell I'm definitely in. going for the I championship. Shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Yeah. I'll bring my duel. I'll bring a duel this next time. Oh, 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 one dead duel, baby. So now what? All right. Let's see what uh, Professor Weasley wants. Um, can I fast travel there anywhere? Oh, let me go here. That makes it closer, so I think. Just gotta utilize this fast travel whenever I can, I think. Oh yeah, it made it a lot closer actually. Oh god, I need that magical. Oh, there we go, the visual guide. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Almost there. Where is she? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Deke? Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Hmm. Feels like she was waiting for me. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Mm. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yeah. All right. Yeah, more work. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. Oh. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Okay. Ollivanders. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Alright, I think I've spent enough time with Sebastian for now. Let's uh, get used to Natty then. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. All right. Report to Professor Ronan. What is that? Is that Mr. Ronan? Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new oh, in the blink of an yeah, eye. I've seen mm, it seems as if before. that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. 
As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. Huh? I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. All right. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, let's go. What am I doing now? <laughs> this is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, there it is. Got it. Ooh, hey. Is that all I have to do? A flying page must be around here somewhere. Just doing some extra. If only a new student would. Bring it. Ooh. Extra work here. It's not extra credit, it's just extra work. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to Damn. see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, enunciation sir. matters, apparently. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repair. <laughs> nice. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Damn, all right. Time to practice that, uh... Where do I practice it again? Repair it. Hmm. What is my new assignment? Welcome to Hogsmeade? Oh, that's where I'm going next. Ooh, Hogsmeade. And I'm actually excited to go to Hogsmeade, but uh, where's that statue he's talking about? And what is this cat? <laughs> what is that? She's randomly uh, rubbing a cat for some reason. It must be her cat. She doesn't like that. I don't think. Uh, let's see. Challenges. Huh. Uh, he did say go somewhere to practice that, but I'm not sure where that is. That was a really good uh My little brother sent schoolwork at uh, Hogwarts. That was really good. Uh, I think I'm gonna oh, wait a minute. One sec. Right before I end this playthrough, uh, see if I can find that treasure. Who oh, was inside there? All right. Let me see if I can get in there real quick. What? What? Huh. Okay. Twenty-one and seventeen. Few pages. There's so many of them. The last time I was a dog, Madame Green had everything from Disney seeds to sugar. What's going on here? This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Oh. I met some of my best friends. Oh. There we go. Wait a minute. So what do I have to roll then? Hmm. This is a very questionable 
treasure. Try opening it. Leon. Revelio. How do I open that bad boy? The statue must be must have something to do with it too, actually. There's a statue over here. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Revelio. Ooh. Oh, there's a repair. Oh, this is what I need to repair. Levioso. Repair. Oh, hey. Finally. Oh, finally got that. Oh. Man, look at her, man. She's like... Something monster must have come out of that water or something. Handy resource but, indeed. All right. Yep, I'm gonna end the playthrough of this part here. Uh, that was a great first day at school, baby. Learn how to do this. Akio. And Levioso. And Ruparo. I kill Revioso. Repair. I kill. Repair. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was fun. Uh, next time, we'll be uh, going to Hogsmeade with that girl. I forgot her name. Old Ch Chai or Ohai. Uh, forgot her name for some reason, but that's where we'll be going next. And. See if I can get my own one and get more powerful. I don't even know where the story is leading to, but I'm going to eventually fight that goblin, I'm guessing. So we'll see. Uh, if you guys like this uh, playthrough, please give likes and subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, thank you guys for watching this one, and I will see you guys on the next one.